Good morning and welcome to St Cuthlack's Church in Little Ponton in Lincolnshire. Uh, today we are here to meet or to see the final resting place of an actor who I class as an A-lister. Now he had quite a long career, started on stage, went into films, worked for Disney amongst many many others. He played some um, very big roles in his career. Uh, he got married, had children, and lived in Lincolnshire, which is where I am at the moment. Let's have a look at this church right behind me. Now, one of his better roles, um, or one of his more recognisable roles as far as I'm concerned, is he played uh, Wing Commander Guy Gibson in the film The Dam Busters. And I don't know if you remember, but not so long ago, um, I made a video about Simon, Abel C. Cat Simon. Now he played um, a character or played a role in the film version of that, because a film was made of it. And uh, he was involved in that, as well as a cat, actually. There was an actor playing the cat, so there you go. But anyway, the person we are here to visit today is actor Richard Todd. Yeah, Richard Todd, he had, uh, as I say, he had a very good career, very impressive career. Um, unfortunately, though, his uh, personal life wasn't as good. But we'll go into that a bit more in a minute. Um, while he was in the actual military in World War II, now, I don't know how many of you know have uh, ever heard of Pegasus Bridge. Now, he was one of the first Allied soldiers to be parachuted into Normandy on D-Day. In fact, he was actually the first Irishman to be parachuted into uh, Normandy and D-Day. Um, he served under uh, his officer in charge of his unit was uh, someone named Howard. Uh, and later on in his career, he was actually in the film The Longest Day and he actually played the part of Howard. There you go, it's amazing how things come around. But anyway, I will spin you around, it's only a very small churchyard, I'll spin you around, we'll have a quick look around the churchyard while I'll tell you a little bit more about Richard Todd. Richard Andrew Palathorpe Todd, OBE, 11th of June 1919 to the 3rd of December 2009, was an Irish-British actor known for his leading man roles of the 1950s. Richard Todd was born in Dublin. His father, Andrew William Palathorpe Todd, was an Irish physician and an international Irish rugby player who gained three caps for his country. Richard spent a few of his childhood years in India, where his father, an officer in the British Army, served as a physician. Later, his family moved to Devon and Todd attended Shrewsbury School. Upon leaving school, Todd trained for a potential military career at Sandhurst before beginning his acting training at the Italia Conti Academy in London. This change in career led to an estrangement from his mother. When he learned at the age of 19 that she had committed suicide, he did not grieve long. He first appeared professionally as an actor at the Open Air Theatre Regent's Park in 1936 in a production of Twelfth Night. He played in regional theatres and then co-founded the Dundee Repertory Theatre in Scotland in 1939. He also appeared as an extra in British films including Good Morning Boys 1937, A Yank at Oxford 1938 and Old Bones of the River 1939. Todd enlisted soon after the outbreak of the Second World War, entering the Royal Military College Sandhurst in late 1939. On 29th of January 1941, he was one of 26 cadets injured when D-Block of New College was hit by a German bomb in an attack by the Luftwaffe. In his memoirs, he describes seeing the bomb pass through the ceiling in front of him before he was blown out of the building by its blast, landing on a grass bank and suffering lacerations. Five cadets were killed in the incident. Todd passed the course in the spring of 1941. 
On the day he received his commission, he tried to join several friends at the Café de la Paris in London. He could not get a table booked for the evening. That evening, the venue was destroyed in an air raid and 15 newly commissioned subalterns were killed. He was among the first British soldiers to land in Normandy and the first Irishman. His battalion parachuted after glider-borne forces had landed to capture the Pegasus Bridge near Caen. During the operation he met Major John Howard on the bridge and was involved in helping to repulse counterattacks by the German forces in the area. Five days after D-Day, while still on the bridge defence area, he was promoted to captain. Todd later played Howard in the 1962 film The Longest Day, recreating these events. After the war, Todd was unsure what direction to take in his career. His former agent, Robert Leonard, had become a casting agent for Associated British Picture Corporation and advised him to try out for the Dundee Repertory Company. He was cast in the lead in For Them That Trespass, 1949. The film was a minor hit and Todd's career was launched. Todd became much in demand. He was lent to Constellation Films to appear in the thriller The Interrupted Journey, 1949. Alfred Hitchcock then used him in Stage Fright 1950 opposite Marlene Dietrich and John Wyman, Hitchcock's first British film in Britain since 1939. Associated British put him in the drama Portrait of Claire 1950, which did not perform well at the box office. Neither did Flesh and Blood 1951 for London films, in which Todd had a dual role. Director King Vidor offered Todd a lead in Lightning Strikes Twice 1951. Far more popular was the story of Robin Hood and his Merry Men 1952 in which Todd played the title role for Walt Disney Productions. Associated Pictures put him in 24 Hours of a Woman's Life 1952 with Marlene Oberon. The rank organisation borrowed him for Val Venetian Bird 1952. Disney reunited the Robin Hood team in The Sword and the Rose 1953 with Todd as Charles Brandon, first Duke of Suffolk. It was not as popular as Robin Hood in the US, but performed well in Europe. The same went for Disney's Rob Roy, The Highland Road, 1953, in which Todd played the title role. Todd's career received a boost when 20th Century Fox signed him to a non-exclusive contract and cast him as the United States Senate chaplain Peter Marshall in the film version of Catherine Marshall's best-selling biography, A Man Called Peter, 1955, which was a popular success. Even more popular was The Dam Busters 1955 in which Todd played Wing Commander Guy Gibson. This was the most successful film at the British box office in 1955 and became the defining role of Todd's movie career. Yangtze Incident, the story of HMS Amethyst 1957 was an attempt to repeat the success of The Dam Busters with the same director Michael Anderson and Todd playing another real life hero. It was popular in Britain but not on the scale of The Dam Busters. He was Denoy Bastard of Orleans in St. Joan, 1957. Chase a Crooked Shadow, 1958, was a thriller with director Anderson for Associated British Intent to Kill, 1958, was another thriller, this time for Fox, with Betsy Drake. He returned to war films with Danger Within, 1958, a POW story. Then there were more thrillers with Never Let Go, 1960, directed by John Gwilliman and co-starring Peter Sellers in a rare straight acting role. Todd gave what has been called one of his best performances. Few of these films had been overly popular, but Todd was still the top billed star of The Long and the Tall and the Short 1961 with Lawrence Harvey and Richard Harris. He tried com comedy with Don't Bother to Knock 1961, then made The Hellions 1961. In 1964, he was a member of the jury at the 14th Berlin International Film Festival. He had a supporting part in Battle of Villa Fiority, 1965 and the lead in The Lovins, 1968. His acting career extended into his 80s and he made several appearances in British shows such as Hartley and The Royal. He appeared in The Royal as Hugh Hurst, a retired solicitor, in the episode Kiss and Tell 2003. His last appearance in Hartley was as Major Harold Beecham in the 2007 episode Seeds of Destruction. Richard Todd was appointed an officer of the Order of the British Empire OBE in 1993. He was a subject of This Is Your Life on two occasions, in March 1960 when he was surprised by Eamon Andrews at the BBC's Lime Grove Studios, and in November 1988 when Michael Aspel surprised him on stage at the Theatre Royal Windsor. Todd was married twice, both marriages ended in divorce. 
His first wife was actress Catherine Grant Bogle, whom he met in Dundee Repertory. They were married from 1949 until 1970. They had a son, Peter, and a daughter, Fiona. In 1960, he had a son, Jeremy Todd Nelson, with model Patricia Nelson. He was married to model Virginia Mailer from 1970 until 1992. They had two sons, Andrew and Seamus. In retirement, Todd lived in the village of Little Ponton and later in Little Humby, eight miles from Grantham, Lincolnshire. Two of Todd's five children died by suicide. In 1997, Seamus Palathorpe Todd shot himself in the head at the family home in Lincolnshire. An inquest determined that the suicide might have been a depressive reaction to the drug he was taking for severe acne. On the 21st of September 2005, Peter killed himself with a shotgun in East Morley, Kent, following marital difficulties. Todd died from cancer at his home near Grantham in Lincolnshire on the 3rd of December 2009. His body was buried between his two sons, Seamus and Peter, at St Cuthlake's Church in Little Ponton in the county of Lincolnshire, which is where we are today. As you can see, it's a very small churchyard. Right, uh, Richard Todd's final resting place is um, just over here to my left, so let's go and have a look at it together. Yeah, when I was saying about his um, his uh, personal life, obviously two of his sons, as you just heard, two of his sons committed suicide and he was laid to rest between those. And here they are right in front of us. I'll start off with one of his sons. Now this is Seamus Alexander Palathorpe Todd. 1977 to 1997. Beloved son of Richard and Virginia and brother of Andrew. Now he was, uh, he took his own life uh, because of the drugs he was on, or it's suspected it's because of the drugs he was on, um, due to um, obviously having bad, very bad skin. Um, right, and over here, we have Peter, Peter Grant Palathorpe Todd. 1952 to 2005, beloved husband of Jill, son of Richard and Catherine, and brother of Fiona, Andrew and Seamus. And he again took his own life with the aid of a firearm due to uh, marital, marital problems. And last but not least, Richard Andrew Palathorpe Todd, 1919 to 2009. Husband of Virginia and Kitty, loving father of Peter and Fiona, Andrew, Seamus and Jeremy, exit dashing young blade. That is a final resting place of Richard Todd, right between his two sons who unfortunately took their own lives. Well that is it, that's the final resting place of Richard Todd and his two sons. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was quite a sad story, but I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Um, if you did, then please give me a thumbs up. It does help the channel to grow. And if you like the content, then maybe consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. And if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Right, well anyway, that is it from Little Hopton from me, Darren, in Lincolnshire. I have got one more to do um, now, and that will be the end of my uh, road trip around the UK, or around England anyway. Anyway, as I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you on the next one, wherever I am. So bye-bye for now.